what's up? I decided I'm gonna copy K. Asher Bass and do my in-car memoirs, all right? Since I do most of my thinking when I'm driving for some reason, you know? So I was talking to somebody the other day, and I, like I said, I never use their names unless I ask them. But I said, what if you were born with a expiration clock on your arm or your wrist or whatever, right? And so you see this timer going down and you knew exactly what day and time you were gonna die. So just imagine this. Imagine the things that you would do in your life and imagine the things that uh, you would not even waste time with because that clock is rolling. So example, you're in a bad relationship, you know you, <coughs> you, know you need to get out, right? But you're waiting for this person to change or things to change or whatever, right? If you, if you physically saw that clock rolling, you wouldn't waste no time. You'd be like, oh shit, this, oh, this ain't working out. Let me get out of here. You know, you would just, you would just leave. You know, you would just get right out of it, right? Or if you, you decided to change your diet or your life or whatever, right? You wouldn't, uh, you wouldn't wait till Monday or to New Year's or something. You'd be like, oh man, I only got X amount of time left to live. I'm gonna do it today. I'm gonna do it now. You know what I'm saying? And so when people see me, uh, and I don't know why this is, okay? Why it's so remarkable and it's so powerful. To, they look at me like it's really powerful to turn away bad food. Or when I tell people what they must do to change, they say, oh man, I'm gonna start the gym. And when I say, it's not in the gym, it's food. They get this look on their face like, oh my God, I can never eat this good food, whatever they're thinking, food X in their head, right? Instead of thinking, that food that I think is so good got me like this in the first place. So that needs to change. That food is not so good, you know? You just wouldn't mess around. And the reason why I'm saying this is because this is how I live. I know I'm not gonna be here forever, so why not do what I want to do today? Not Tuesday, Monday, New Year, the special day, or even when somebody else in your life says, hey, why don't you just start that later? You have to do it for yourself. You can't, it, you, ha you must ignore everybody else's thoughts, feelings, or whatever. If it's not hurting them, you can ignore them. All right, that's what you, that's what you must, must do. And you gotta think to yourself, when did food become this powerful in my life? That everything is surrounded because of food. You gotta think about that, all right?